Good evening. During an official visit to France for summit with uh, President uh, Charles de Gaulle in 1961, President John F. Kennedy joked that I am the man who accompanied Jacqueline Kennedy to Paris. For my own part, I can say uh, I am the man who accompanied Mustafa Assad to tonight's celebration of his success story. But unlike Kennedy, I'm not joking, because I witnessed his success story while at Public Graphics for a good 12 years of my communications career. But above all, I owe Mustafa even more because, to my great surprise and delight, he entrusted me with writing his story. And I confess a little secret tonight. I am now excited about writing more biographical books, just as my role model, Mustafa, is now playing it again, as he builds front page communication into the next chapter of his personal story. For a man of his business acumen, tenacity, and brand building skills, a life's work is never done. When Mustafa gave me the brief, he was keen on the book coming out to be three things. A historical record, an inspirational story for the Lebanese youth and future generations, and a reference for case studies for academicians and students. I hope and believe that the brief has been fulfilled. In addition, I have been told by one professional English language writer that the book, quote, is easy to read and fun to live through, leaving any reader with a lasting sense of engagement with the subject, close quotation marks. And a British veteran of the industry, of the advertising industry in the UK, told me after reading it that it's unputdownable. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm not singing my own praises here before your distinguished audience, but giving you another reason to get the book in English and in Arabic. And with that, I wish you all a pleasant evening at Eza's Villa Rose and a memorable gathering. Thank you. <laughs>